Well, what's happening people? So carrying on from the last video, I'm going to do another takeaway style video. And this time, it's one of my own favourites. It's my homemade pizza. So this is going to be the easiest thing you can possibly make. So all you're going to need is a wrap that you like. So I'm using the tomato and basil wraps. Some posada sauce as a base. This is kind of the one that you use if you're having a pizza. And then I'm using onions, peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, a cooked chicken breast that I just did there. And I have 26 grams of cheese to go on top. So literally all it is is just putting it together and then putting it under the grill. So that's everything on the pizza that's the best thing about this because you can really put on whatever you like whatever foods you like i went with chicken there but you can just as well use bacon or you can use steak any kind of vegetables you want and especially with the cheese as well mozzarella cheese works really well a feta cheese or if you're watching their calories use um, a lighter cheese there's a thousand and one brands that do like different kind of cheeses now so pick the one you like and go with it and as well this is a really important bit that people don't do add your seasonings now to the top of it and that's going to make it taste 10 times better so i'm going with the montreal steak i'm going with chili powder cayenne pepper and then salt and pepper so they go on top and then under the grill for about 10 minutes to crisp it up I just use this as a comparison. This uh, Domino's pizza pepperoni, a full pizza has nearly 1800 calories and the fats are 72, the carbs are 200 and the protein is 64. And that's going to be riddled in salt as well. So just as a comparison, the one I just made there and it's cooking now has 500 calories with 44 carbs, 44 protein and 15 grams of fat. So you can see the difference is huge. And if you're eating two or three Domino's pizzas a week, the calories are gonna clock up pretty fast. So this pizza is a much healthier alternative and also tastes pretty damn good. So that's the finished product. I think that was 10 minutes under the grill. So you'll know when the cheese is all melted and everything seems to be cooked, it's good to go. But if you want the crust to be crispier, you can put it into the oven or just turn down the grill and leave it cooked for another little bit. But that's the finished product. So that's it, it was 10 minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching again. Share the video and show someone who's a culprit for a pizza a few times a week. And let's keep making the change. And I'll see you in the next one.